Well, you guys, game is tomorrow. Giants are in town trying to put us on a losing streak, and we cannot have that. So I definitely would be at the game for you guys' information. I will see a live. Got to see what Jameis look like. Got to see what the boys look like in person. Going to have some real dope seats. Shout out, shout out to Jameis. And my dog, Bracey. But this your boy, like I said, Black Dash 813. Another video coming at you guys. You know, like I said before uh, the game. I really think we're going to be ready. It's a, QP, a, few, a, Q, a few pieces that we're going to be missing um, coming up. Quan's not going to play. Levante's not going to play. And I believe T.J. Ward is not playing. We've got a couple guys questionable on defense that will still play, but are probably going to be limited to snaps. So I think that's going to hurt us, but I really think that we need to come out firing, man. I mean, we got to be motivated after last week's loss. This is huge because, like I said, Thursday we got the Patriots, but we need to focus on this game. Um, not only we gonna come out firing, but so are the Giants. We have to be all in this whole four quarters. Um, Odell's gonna be ready to come out and do some things. <clears throat> Eli's gonna be ready to fire. Uh, so don't sleep on Brandon Marshall. Um, I think one thing that's gonna hurt us, and I'm kind of kind of scared of the fact that we are limited at the corner position, DB position. Uh, I'm not liking too much of what may happen with Sterling Shepard or Brandon Marshall. So Brent Grimes and Vernon may do a lot of damage, but, you know, watch out for that slot position. Um, but one weakness that they do have, the Giants have, is their O-line. Their O-line is very, very weak, and we need to take advantage. So Mike Smith needs to bring crazy blitzes. Um, we need to have a lot of pressure. Noah Spence needs to do a lot of damage back there. Robert Ayers against his old team. I hope that he comes out and get about, you know, two to about four sacks, somewhere in between there. Um, Jeremy McCoy needs to bring, apply a lot of pressure as well. This is going to be a very crucial game tomorrow. So, at the same time, we need to be ready. Their weakness, we need to take advantage of it. Their weakness is ours, but we need to take advantage of it. Paul Perkins, Shane Vereen, we need to shut them down. We make them one dimension and make Eli throw the ball a lot more. That puts more pressure on their O-line. And I think we benefit more of that also with the home, advantage, home, home field advantage that we have. So, uh, we need to make sure they're one dimension, period, point blank. I mean, if we do that, I think things go very, very well for us. So we need to make sure that happens. Um, but also on the offensive side, we need to get the we need to start running the ball. Um, we played against a very, very good front seven last week. This front seven, the Giants is not as as deep as the Vikings. So we need to run the ball. Quez needs to have over 50 yards, over 80, and a touchdown at least. So um, we get the running game started. Jameis can do whatever he wants to after that. They're so so busy sneaking, looking in the backfield. Um, we do a lot more damage when that happens. So Quez, Charles Sims, Peyton Barber, whoever we put back there, they need to do some major, major serious damage. So um, I like this game to be very, very tight. Um, I like us to put up a lot of points. You know, although they got Norris Jenkins and you know Cromartie over there, Eli Apple, and also uh, Landon Collins. I like Cameron Brake to have a, a nice game. Him and Mike Evans. Um, I think that Evans, after last week's, you know, angry, you know, thing that he did last week, I think he comes out and goes over 100 yards this week. So, uh, this is going to be a huge game for us, man. I mean, it's, it's showtime. I mean, we got to do what we need to. We got the adversity. We've lost the game. We've got that part done already. We've been motivated. This is it. We have to come back and be ready because the Giants are 0-3, and they're going to come out firing, and we need to come back, and James needs to have the game of his life after last week's performance and a lot of people didn't really you know find too much or didn't like so this is this is it man i mean i really expect a lot of us from this week um and i'm excited man to be honest with you like i'm ready to go out there and see how it is it's gonna be late on the day so it's not gonna be as hot this is gonna be perfect man see you today uh make sure that the crowd's gonna be pumping you know what i mean so stick carriers we need to make sure we're out there doing what we need to um you know whoever's filling in the guys Cam cameron lynch Who's filling in for uh for Quan and Kendall Beckwith, who are also gonna be filling in for Quan. They need to do their jobs. They do their jobs with these linebackers, that front seven do their jobs. We make them one dimensional. I think this game can we can put up a lot of points and 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 win. Uh, but my prediction for this game, uh I see us winning. I I can see us win 20, 28 
to 24. And the reason why I say that is because um, I think, you know, they have one possession going into the game and we're up four. But I think our defense stops it. And I think that front seven does their job long enough to where Eli throws that pick that closes the game off for us and seals the deal. Um, so I'm ready, man. I mean, I really think we're going to do good. I really think we're going to come back fire, and we need to. That's what needs to happen. For us to be a playoff team, a contender, and to make these runs that we have been talking about all season, this is one of the games that we need to win. We look good against the Bears, a team that doesn't look as well as we've seen Thursday got blew out by the Packers. We need to win this game, period, point blank. There's no questions asked about that.